Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I've got this slinky that's vibrating up and down like so. It's hooked up to this wave generator. And it's got these little points here, 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 and here that all seem to have completely stopped vibrating in those select moments. And yet in between them, there's lots of vibration. So why are these little dead zones here? And what do we call those? Well, this video is gonna be about constructive and destructive interference. We're gonna talk about what's called a standing wave, which is what we have here. We're gonna talk about nodes and antinodes, and we're gonna talk about harmonics and mode shapes. All of that will explain why you're seeing what you're seeing, so stick around and find out. Let's start with the basics. So this system has a vibration generator that's hooked up to a slinky that's attached to this arm up here, so we have a fixed connection. The bottom is free to vibrate, and in fact, I have it set to vibrate at 30 times per second, also known as 30 hertz. So we have a 30 hertz vibration. If you looked at anywhere on the slinky, it's vibrating 30 times per second. Now, this is what we call a longitudinal wave. That means that the direction of vibration, which in this case is up and down, is the same direction in which the wave energy is traveling. So it vibrates up and down, but also a wave is traveling from the downward to the upward part. It's gonna hit the top and that wave energy is gonna return. So again, because it's vibrating up and down and the wave energy is moving parallel to that vibration, upwards and downwards along the slinky's length, we call that a longitudinal wave. So what's the difference between a longitudinal wave and a transverse wave? Well, a transverse wave would mean, uh, I want you to think about taking a rope and tying it to a wall and shaking your hand up and down, right? Your wave is gonna travel like this, or rather it's vibrating up and down. But which way is the wave energy actually traveling? Well, if you watched it, it would travel that way along the length of the rope, bounce back and come back to you. So because the rope in this example is moving up and down, it's vibrating in this direction, and yet the wave energy is traveling forward and backward, we call that a transverse wave versus this, where the vibration and the direction of the wave energy is the same.